Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Cowscan channel. If you haven't already, will you please like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. I'm trying to get videos out every Sunday, but it's not working out every Sunday. But um, hopefully we'll get a share of videos out and start building a bit of a collection up. Uh, a few bits going on this week, getting busy with work. Um, not too much going on in the farm. These girls didn't see too much of me during the week. Uh, just going to throw a couple of bits into this video with um, facilities we came across in different farms and a few little snippets of farms I hope to feature more throughout the course of the year. Going to try and do a farmer feature after another few weeks when Kevin is over for guys and stuff like that where we just go to farms and do a quick interview with guys and show anywhere there's a bit of interest in stuff. So if anybody has any suggestions and stuff like that they want to see, come back to me. We have another little interesting feature coming up in the next couple of weeks. I scanned the cows uh, someday last week. The five in this pin, all in calf. Everything, everything great. Um, one heifer, who I hope is called a rebel of the Ebony family, called a Rebony. Thought she was in calf. Uh, saw no action on six weeks. Or saw, sorry, saw no action on three weeks, no action on six weeks. But she's a heifer I really like, so I said, you know what, we'll flush her. So we'll document flushing her in the next couple of weeks. And also this girl here, she's a first calver. She's actually my, my son Adam's heifer, he bought her off me last year. She's a heifer I really like, and this is the baby calf she has. So she just fell into a window where the five of these girls are calving in September. So I said... Sorry, and there's one other cow there as well calving in September. And I said, if there's going to be one calving in January, there may as well be two. So it just fell in a window where I could... Uh, my memory card filled up. Um, so it just fell in a window where I could calve them. And um, they'd be at the right time. So that window for flushing them in March just worked out. So we'll go through all that um, in over the next couple of weeks. Putting in cedars, synchronizing them. The whole flushing process. Um, just might be of interest of anybody thinking to do it. They've been flushed here on Farham by Dara Markham from Roscommon, a vet, very good guy at it. He did a bit of flushing above at his place for me a couple of years ago, so it's a fantastic way of um, exploiting genetic potential. So, um, yeah, that's the story with those girls. Sorry, I know the lighting is so bad and they're on wood chip, so it looks real messy. It's not that bad. Um, Few interesting bits in the video now. Um, freeze Brendan in a side by side, crushing a real good facility, and just another couple of little bits like that. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Really bad week and weather. Oh, the place got blown away, and it's Sunday morning, a flood of rain again last night. So uh, early grazing targets for North Northwest Clare really wouldn't be on. Would, are, sorry, they are on target for this time of the year. Yeah, another four months of winter probably. So, um, yeah, I'll do a bit of voiceover in the rest of the video. No, Thanks here myself and Jack, Brandon, um, who was 95. Uh, Crossbred wean and heifers in East Clare. On a contract rear farm, real good setup. Great bunch of heifers. Heifers being constantly monitored throughout the year for progress. Uh, regular weight checks and stuff like that. Apologies for the darkness in the video, it was one of the really bad days we got this week and my lighting didn't really work too well. Very simple setup in this, four or five heifers up to crush together, we clip them, walk up through them, catching the head gate, out through the front of it. Contract rearing from what I've seen works really well for guys that can build up a relationship and, and get it done, it's regular income. Um, definitely suits better suckler farmers who are looking maybe for an alternative to what they're at with cows and calves. Um, probably not for everyone, but definitely a viable alternative. First bunch of heifers done in a good sized bunch. I think there's about 100 heifers here. We'll get these away out. Real good crossbred heifers. I went out to grass there for a few weeks. Nice bunch now. Good girls. Oh, 
Oh, girl, how'd she go up? Weather conditions not ideal, but these are in real good limestone sheltery ground. So, we'll be going back to plenty grass later. Good, good heifers. Right, this little heifer. Good girl. That's her number about 15 minutes after being done, bubbled up and get ready to kill the hair color pigment. So, we're in four, four different bunches. Bring on the next bunch. Good girls, out you go. Come on, come on. Superb management on this farm. Heifers are being cubicle trained and everything in here during the winter. Quite anywhere, aren't they? Good girls, come on, come on. Good girls, come on. I want to see a bit of misery now. This morning is the morning to see it. Some storm on the way, I can't think of the name of it. Um, despite the fact that there's a lot of work with cattle during the week, the easiest thing to put content in the video about is sheep. So, sheep, I'll put in here with the electric fence for anyone to watch the video the last day. Um, Yesterday evening I came home from work and the sheep weren't here anymore. No, they did an amazing job. Excuse the wind. The biggest thing I didn't realise is how much rushes was in the field actually, but um they gave the grass such a clean enough that um oh, it looks good now. Um yeah. Not sure know how well this wind is gonna work. And the sheep decided yesterday to move on. So I don't want them to go where they're going because they're near the forest. I don't obviously want them going into the forest. So I'm going to try moving them. And we'll see how we get on. Come on! Come on! Good girls, come on, come on. Good girls, come on, come on. No, oh, sheep have taught me one thing. It's easier if they can follow you than you follow them. So we'll see now the walks are not an electric fence and they moved for this morning to be honest so hopefully there's one good fence here but I'm asking a bit mustin for the fence to keep them in in future we'll see what they do Now we trust the old horse field.
Yeah, we'll take that. We'll bend no, up it. Back to some on the road work for the week. Farm oil in my gas just because it fits the brand in 200 cows. So it's a nice, real nice job in a locking barrier. That's it, and Jeff went out with the dirty head clipsers. Good to see this a customer going for a couple of years and good to see how the brands are coming out. Small segment here about a new entrant, milking cows in North Clare. I uh, will do a proper video on this guy during the summer. Real interesting farm. Um, zero grazing. Good, real good British Parisian cows. You can see the condition of the cows here. Uh, he did a deadly job in cubicles. Very interesting. Now, next up, we move on to a job in Tumivara Tipperary. New dairy entrant with a fabulous new setup, um, handling facility, drafting facility, and parlor. First time. We tried Brandon in a side by side crush. Um, worked really well. A superb way of handling animals. Uh, very stress free on both the operator and the animals. Um, very little stress now on these cows. It was something we were really, really happy with. Could clip the whole lot together, just move along them then. And, I, and there's a, the fact there was a lot of heifers in this bunch it made it a little bit harder. I think it'll actually be easier going forward as the cows mature more again nice crossbred type cows um had just started calving and very little stress on the cows the using the side by side versus singling them out and stuff and they were used to going through it, it a side by side really for anyone going milking more than 80 or 100 cows uh, it's a no-brainer for me like this i think i think i counted eight short uprights in this and a few diagonal bars it was an excellent way of handling cows in a, in a real good facility. Slight change of angle here. You can see the setup of the crush. The way it's done there at the back, I forgot to show it in the video. You can fold up that back bar just that you don't give them any temptation when they're leaving the crush or when they're coming into the crush, they, they go jumping out over that side. Great job to be able to start at either end of the clippers and just clip the whole bunch together. Clipping is done and out of the way, and you can just concentrate on the branding.
best bet is to put in the handle comes up to the top, it's sprung latched, so it's very, very safe. Very low chance of getting a bang in your hand. Real good safe gate, and it's costing very little extra than a regular gate. Well worthwhile putting money in. That's the video for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and as I say, we have some. Real good interesting stuff coming up over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.